One of you guys had an excellent question. How do you establish a straight line over a hill? Today, we're gonna answer that. We're gonna pretend like we're replacing the fence here behind me. We can see this corner right down here along the road. It goes up this hill and then disappears behind the hill. We know that that fence is not currently straight and that it does jog out over the hill. We don't want that to happen again. We want our fence to be straight as the property line. You could call a property surveyor and he can come and he can get you points on that hill. On this one, it's just one hill. We can see it, so we can do it another way. We're gonna put a T-post down here on this corner to mock up our property pen. We're gonna go to the other corner. We're gonna put another T-post in there to mock our property corner. And then we're gonna come to this hill. We're gonna use two fiberglass fence posts to help us establish where our straight line is between. We'll look down them like you'd look down gun sights and make sure that they both point to each property corner on both ends. Once they point to both property corners on each end, you're in a straight line. Let's do it. So we've got our two ends marked. Now what we need to do is guess at where a straight line would be. I'll smack them in the ground, I'll check them, and then I'll adjust. And I'll adjust as many times as it takes to find that straight line. I'm looking at the stake I just put in right behind the camera and I'm lining it up to where it would be straight with that end post. So now I'm gonna come back to this stake and I'm gonna look this way and see if that lines up with this end post. Ooh, we're close. I need to bring it in a little bit. You're always going to be moving both of them and you want both stakes to be level. If you are off just a little bitty smidge, you could take a hammer and tamp the dirt over to where it, it bumps the top of that stake over, you know, that sixteenth of an inch. She's straight now. I can look down this stake, this stake, and it's pointed to the very far end post. I can look back this way from that stake to this stake to the end post, and it points straight at it. That means we're straight. All four points are straight with each other. So when I decided where to put these two stakes, I wanted to go far enough apart that it would be more accurate with eyesight but I also needed them close enough that I could see from the one stake, I could see the other two. You need to be able to see the three stakes worth at a time. This is not a placeholder of the post. This is just establishing the line. After these are in a straight line pointed end to end, we can either do a tensioned wire across here, or we could do a string line, we sight everything in. So we would use these to sight off of. If there was trees in your way, this probably isn't gonna work for you and you're probably better off calling a surveyor to get you midpoints in that fence line. You could do this over multiple hills as well, but there again, you're gonna be getting more complex. It's gonna take some more time and you'll probably want a second set of hands and maybe a walkie talkie so you guys can walkie talkie back and forth. If you'd like to see how to sight in fence posts, See this video here, or is it here? I think it's here, it's here. I am Alan with SWI. We are Wyoming's Fence Company, and you have a good dang day. <laughs>